Hello my crafty friends. Today we are starting to share our sneak peeks of the new release that's coming from your next stamp. I chose to use this wonderful stamp set called Autumn Milk Cans. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do a new release video this month. Uh, COVID has got shipping delays all over the all over our industry, well just pretty much all over. So um, things are a little sporadic. I don't have everything that I need for the release and I don't have everything to do a new release video at this point. So I thought I would show you the stamp set with some great sentiments and these wonderful milk cans. There's even an empty milk can with a, a spray that you can add to it. Um, and the sentiments you can use throughout the year, not just for autumn and fall. But the design team, let me tell you, we were pretty excited when we saw that this was a set that was coming from your next stamp. Today is Monday and the stamps will be available in the store on Thursday. I will put details down below for both my coordinating blog post and a link for the Your Next Stamp blog. So my card today is a slimline card. Folded a slimline is three and a half by eight and a half inches and it fits in a number 10 business envelope. I did my trifold layout for this one, so I'll give you the measurements for that in a few minutes. And the patterned paper that I used today is from an older patterned paper pack from Prima, and it's called Amber Moon. I chose to use this image from the autumn milk cans simply because these little paper I call them paper lanterns. I, I don't know plants very well, but my brother used to have these and when we went to his house for Thanksgiving, they're, they're beautiful. They're this paper like, oh, they're so pretty. And he would put one at each place setting. And so it just brought back memories. I was excited to see that. And I did paper piecing to get the color on the milk can itself. I stamped it on white cardstock. There may be coordinating dies available for the set. I'm not sure. And I don't have them. So I did stamp this on Copic friendly white cardstock with your next stamps black olive ink. I colored it with Copic markers and then fussy cut it out leaving a, a white border. Then I stamped the milk can portion again on a scrap of patterned paper from the same package and cut that out, fussy cut it very close like just inside the edge then use wet glue to adhere it on. Now I, I love a little bit of sparkle and shine on a card and this is very subtle and you might not even be able to see it in the video but I added a gold gel pen dot to the base of each one of these little hanging lanterns. I added gold gel pen to the milk can and I also traced around inside the frame with a gold pen and added gold gel pen dots. So it's it's not in your face, it's subtle but all of a sudden when you turn the card you get this really pretty pearl shimmer which I quite like. Autumn Greetings comes from the Autumn Milk Can set. I think I'm on my third package of retro gumdrops because those colors just go with everything. I apologize for the barking dogs. We had a big windstorm here this morning and we live out in the country and a neighbor's oh, gigantic spruce tree has fallen and they've got chainsaws out and while they're cutting up their tree, their dogs are running around and my dogs know there's dogs out there. So I apologize for their barking. Um, back to the card. This is from the Rectangle Scalloped Frames with Piercing Marks. There's three frames that come in the set. And I use the middle frame, backing it with white cardstock that I had done a little bit of ink blending on. Now you will notice that my fishtail banner does hang over the edges a little bit because a slimline card fits in a business envelope. And the business envelopes are meant to hold, I think the I think this is like four and an eighth. You can see I still have room inside the envelope uh, with even with the fishtail banner. I did stamp on the envelope twice using two different colors of distress oxide ink, just for a little subtle detail on the envelope. So for my slimline trifold card, it opens like this. A couple more images from the set. And to get the cute scalloped border, I die cut the top and bottom edge of this largest frame in the set. So you end up getting a piece like this and you cut these pieces off here. And then when you lay it on your project, 
you can just cut off the ends but you've got a nice straight edge and it's another way to get a little bit more versatility from your dies. The thinking of you now and always that's a sentiment that comes in the set and there's the owl and again I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see but I added a little bit of gold shimmer uh, with from a, a nouveau glitter pen to the owl so he catches the light or both owls the parent owl and the baby and they catch the light when the card is turned. My measurements for the trifold slimline card start with an eight and a half by eight and a half inch card base. You score three inches from the left edge and two inches from the right edge. My overlap panel here is three inches by five inches, but I change it up all the time. Quite often I've done a seven inch. It stays it stays at three inches width wise, but I usually do a seven inch decorator panel and I also usually do it with this the two inch flap on this side and the three on the inside. I wanted to try just something different just to see how I liked it and I you know what I think I prefer the smaller panel on this side and the, the three inch the larger panel on this side but you know you got to try stuff. So that is my share today for your next stamps preview of the new September release. If you enjoyed my video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of my interactive cards. And that's it for me today.